This is a Helios 103, a 53mm 1.8 lens with a contact rangefinder mount. At the end of World War II, the Soviets moved some German factories, engineers and all, to the Soviet Union. The size icon factory ended up in Kiev to help rebuild the arsenal factory that was destroyed during the war. This factory made the Kiev rangefinders, which were basically copies of the contact cameras from the 1930s. Apparently the early Kievs still used contact parts and still had the contact logo stamped, visible from the inside if you disassembled the camera. The Helios 103 was actually introduced in 1977 to replace the Jupiter 8 that had been standard with the Kiev Force. My copy came from Russia via eBay and I got it with an adapter to mount on my Sony a7 II. The contacts and Kiev rangefinders have a focusing helicoid in the camera itself, so adapting these lenses to mirrorless is not trivial. The adapter I got has what looks like part of the camera mount, including the helicoid. It seems to be handmade from an L39 adapter. Focus in this case is done by rotating the front part of the lens, although there is no focusing ring per se. All this makes this lens pretty cumbersome to use. It's easy to totally unscrew it from the helicoid and I had it fall from it once while riding my bike with it on my back. It is well built, so it didn't get too damaged. The images are interesting enough, and you can say this lens definitely has character. Fully open, it is sharp in the center and pretty blurry in the corners. Close down, it becomes a lot sharper. The adapter allows to focus really close because when you focus it, you're actually unscrewing the lens from the helicoid. There's quite a bit of internal reflection from the helicoid when you do that, though, if the light hits in a certain way. Bokeh can be very swirly. It's also possible to get a really busy, distracting background if you're not careful. In conclusion, it is a lens I had always wanted to try, and I did. On digital, it's a bit too troublesome to use, so I will stick with screw mount when I want to use the Soviet lenses. Still, another interesting normal lens with an interesting history, lots of character, and very cheap at $30 or so. I'm making an album on Flickr with the photos from this video. Check out the link in the description below. Check out my real photos at juanbuehler.com and until the next video, cheers and goodbye.